Well, okay, uh, we're going to move on. Uh, if you remember last time we talked about means testing, uh, what we're going to talk about now, we're going to go more into the uh, area of 11 USC 101. Okay. And uh, so as we look at this, uh, there are many important terms in this section. Um, one of the big ones that we're going to hit is the word lean. This is really important in creditor relations with debtors and also with um, bankruptcies. Um, there's quite a few different kinds of liens. We'll discuss those. Uh, one of the ones that I'm most familiar with is the judgment lien. Whenever you have a judgment against somebody, that lien is automatically uh, recorded in the county where it occurs. If the person has any real estate in that county, then the lien actually attaches to the real estate. Um, so, you know, this is important consideration. Uh, one of the important things about Section 101 is that it covers several other terms. Uh, the use of the word lean is just, just one example. Um, if you just refer, and like I said, if you would print out this whole Section 101, uh, I think it would be very helpful in terms of having it at your fingertips, especially in the future. You might want to print it, for example, and hole punch it and then make it a little notebook and uh, because this is really an important area. Well, I'm going to share a number of different uh, terms with you and I think what would be a good thing and this is uh, just a kind of an inside uh, track type thing that if you're nice enough to come and uh, view my lectures because I go to the trouble of trying to put these up here to help you uh, then you get the inside track on some extra credit uh, assignments so uh, find the definition for these terms and uh, basically uh, you'll get some extra points you know a little something in your stocking uh, okay so here we go affiliates I think it just would be too time consuming for me to go through and define all these for you, but I think it would be good for you again to look in section 101 and uh, you know find your own definitions uh, and then share those with me in terms of uh, an attachment to an email and then we will uh, you know look them over and talk them over and uh, we'll uh, Like I say, give you a few extra points. Now, custodian in this context, very important uh, that we look at it. This is not like the janitor at your school, okay? Uh, this is uh, something else. Uh, another important term, debt, of course. Uh, this is a kind of a complicated sounding one. equity, security, holder, you know, probably baseline question is, you know, what is equity? You know, we've heard uh, the word equity time and time again. And, you know, there's a whole part of the law involving equity. And basically, basic definition of equity is like fairness. But when it comes to consumer debt, uh, it involves a uh, more important concept of the value of your investment uh, in property. A lot of times, like in a land contract, uh, someone pays and pays on the property, gets down to the end, uh, they have trouble making those last final payments, and the owner of the property says, well, I, it's just too bad. You violated the contract. I'm taking the, the property back. Well, it's not that simple uh, in Indiana based upon uh, an old, old case that came out. Uh, and so the person has the value of at least some equity in there. And the other part of it, though, is from a creditor standpoint, um, the uh, 
debtor in that case would owe other debts to other people and other people would have some right to some part of, of that equity uh, if there is any. Uh, okay, another one is individual. You know, what do we mean by individual? Remember about person, corporation, things like that. And then the next thing is with regular income. And this comes into play in the wage earner plan. I mean, people say, well, best of intentions, I want to have a wage earner plan, but I don't have any income. Well, that's not going to work for you then. I mean, the whole thing has to work uh, on paper. And then sometimes it doesn't work anyway because of other things that come up once again. Like I was saying in one of the earlier uh, lectures, some people walk under a rain cloud their whole life uh, and they never get uh, out from under. Well, insiders, other important terms in the stock market, somebody that knows somebody that works in the corporation that can tell them information. Uh, insolvency. Judicial lien. This kind of goes back to what I was saying. Just the term lien itself. Person. We talked about person. That can be a human or can be a corporation. Security. You know, what's the security? We think about, you know, like personal security. You know, you go walking in a dark alley. Well, that's not really what we're talking about in this context. We're talking about security, like as in securities, like stocks and so forth. Uh, it's a form of an investment document. Uh, and uh, same way with uh, other parts of it, too, is that if you have investments, you know, are they secure, which is to say, you know, is there going to be value there when you want to draw it out? Security agreement. Now, this kind of gets into a uh, big word for a little word, which is like a loan. You know, but this was like a formal uh, security agreement, a form of contract, a negotiable instrument where uh, people uh, make an agreement that they'll borrow money and pay money back. Okay? few more and then we'll be done with this and here once again remember the offer is work on these get them to me and then um, we'll give you a few extra points single asset real estate and I'm just going to shorten that single asset real estate uh, statutory lien statutory lien And then transfer, the word transfer. What does that mean? Like my son's getting ready to be transferred in the Coast Guard. Is that what we mean? No, it's not what we mean in this uh, context. We're talking uh, in a creditor debtor situation. Um, for instance, you might transfer ownership in something. Well, are you uh, legally, ethically able to transfer the ownership in your property when you're subject to debt? You know, these are important considerations. Well, all right, let's move forward then. Uh, these are some things to look into. I want you to work on these a little bit uh, and then share with me, you know, that you're making progress or that you have questions. Um, so I'm going to move on now, and we're going to hit a couple of these. You know, what's a lien? What is a lien? Okay. It's, um, it is a right to property. Okay? It can be judicial. In other words, like I said, you get a judgment for a car wreck or something, it attaches to somebody's real estate. It can be consensual. You know, I want to buy a new car, but I can't pay cash for a new car. Well, I can buy it on time, what we call on time, but what ends up happening is the bank has a lien on my car. Uh, we, a lot of us have those. Uh, also can be statutory. 
and the, what that is is that uh, there's a law in the books that the um, state legislature says that well we're going to automatically put a lien on something. Let's say you don't pay your taxes. Let's say you don't pay your college loans. Uh, these are all things that can be converted um, to a lien uh, and you know put you in a situation where your property is encumbered by a lien. Okay, so that's the uh, definition of lien. So security is another one we want to touch on. Security. That's a U right there, okay. You know, what do we mean by security? Uh, it's a commercial document Basically, it's what we would call evidence, okay, uh, of an ownership interest, okay? Like I said earlier, it could be stock in a corporation, for example, or it could be a mortgage on a house, okay? so. Um, uh, you know, in other words, what we're saying, corporate stock, bonds, it could be a check, it could be a promissory note, or it could be that security agreement that I was just talking about. You know, that you signed to get that car, okay? Alright, so there's another one. So just kind of helping you get started here. But there's no way I'll have enough time to define all these for you. Uh, another important one that we touched on earlier is insider. You know, what's an insider? Uh, remember Marth Martha Stewart got in some trouble over this insider, we call insider trading. Um, and this depends, uh, is, it, is it a corporation, so for instance someone says, well I, I think uh, this corporation is going to file bankruptcy, it's not publicly known like General Motors or Chrysler or something like that, um, and uh, so people are like, well I want to get my money then. So they run and, and they sell it because they, they hear somebody over beer say that, you know, uh, the Atlas uh, Anvil Company is getting ready to file bankruptcy. So they run and they sell all their Atlas Anvil stock. Well, you know, that's what we might refer to as insider trading, so it can be bad. Uh, this can be also uh, strictly an individual. And the bad thing you see on what individuals often do is they give their stuff, like their house, their boat, motorhome, to a relative to avoid uh, losing it in bankruptcy. And you know, that is fraud. That is a violation right there. Uh, you're not allowed to do that, but people sometimes do it. So you've got to be uh, careful. You don't want to get caught up in something like that. Somebody uh, indicates that that's what their plans are. Don't be part of that. So okay, basically that's another uh, situation there where we hit some major points. Uh, you know, be, be sure to remember what I told you about. Uh, get you a copy of that uh, 11 USC section 101. I think it can be very helpful. Uh, and also then look for the important definitions of the terms that I gave you. And if you want to share a sheet where you did that research and you came up with that, uh, like I said, uh, we'll put a little something, you know, in your Christmas stocking. Uh, well, it's the middle of summer. Let's say your envelope. Okay. All right. Well, hey, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot for paying attention.